rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's do that. try to play a song all the way through I don't know if I have the part maybe I do have all the parts here's the problem this dumbass drummer Sam who promised he would come up I was gonna pay for the entire rehearsal time I just wanted him for like two days three hours at a shot three hours a day twice I was gonna pay for the rehearsal space and give him 20 bucks just to be nice because he thought it'd be fun to jam but apparently the little penis head got online and found out that I thinks I'm uh, got a lot more money than I do listen I think it would be just fun to if someone said Duke can you come over and jam with me so I could you know finish writing this stuff I want to get this thing no one's gonna put out a million dollar album again a million selling never It'll be downloaded a million times illegally, but you'll never see that money. I would help anybody. Dude, could you come down and play bass? Could you come down and play guitar? Play bongos? Whatever. Congas. But no. I always have to get a dick. So this guy promised he would do it if I paid for the time and 20 bucks a day for three hours. Then I call him up yesterday and go, okay, ready? Because he said I can't do it for a week. All right, yesterday was a week. No, Tuesday. Call him Tuesday. He's very busy. Guy's retired. He doesn't do anything. So then he goes on this thing that, well, so can you send me the songs? I go, the songs are not completed. I have stuff that I got up there. I don't know if they're complete or not because I can play to a drum track. Sounds all right, but it doesn't. It sounds like it needs something. One of them is complete. That song is start off called Embryo and then Scratch and then it was Suicide Angel, Scratch. Now it's called Rock and Roll Legend. Which is me. Not saying that I'm Rock and Roll Legend, but it's kind of like an autobiographical type of album where not the whole thing, but parts, some songs are about me. Like Live Fast, Die Young. That's how I approached the music thing at the beginning. And then there's another song, Creeping Sensation, when I started getting into, you know, addictions, <laughs> let's just say, which was not foreseen. And then uh, then there's uh, Eternal Darkness, which is, you know, I was a little depressed for a while, but there's a girl that was way more depressed than me, and she was able to put it in writing, which I it's hard for me to do. I can write music, and I can write, I can come up with a chorus which is to me the most important part of the damn song it's the little words in between like david lee roth when he skit scat scoodles through the uh demo of the song he'll use most of those words listen to van halen's songs some of them mean nothing and some of them kind of mean something but it's the main thing is the chorus and a few words, you know, to get you up. Boop, 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 boop. Van Halen's a great band. I mean, with David Lee Roth, to me. Because once David Lee Roth left and Sammy Hangar came in, he castrated Van Halen. So I call him Vag Halen instead of Van Hagar, what everybody says. No, it's Vag Halen. So, you know, not a big fan. <laughs> So like that 5150 guitar, pfft, 
because that signals to me the death of the Van Halen. You know, the... And then when they came back, that album is great. I mean, Roth can't scream on it. I can barely talk because I was screaming at somebody today. Screaming literally at the top of my lungs. So bad that I, I stripped my freaking throat. But uh, people can only push me so far. And then I'm going to have to kill them. <clears throat> so anyways, I'm going to go ahead without the freaking stupid ass drummer that flaked on me. Because then he said, okay, I want $100 per song. So if we work on one song that day, I want $100. I'm like, dude. He goes, well, you, can, you know, I have worked with another guy and he, he gives me everything. And da, da, da. I go, dude, I could give you 40, 50 songs that are done, but that we could just jam to. This is a jamming thing. Not like your goofy, bro, your goofy friend that, uh, Works on all this. I'm sure they're brilliant songs because nobody's heard of this idiot. And they play little coffee shops. Woo! And he gets like 40 bucks a gig. The band. Yeah, that's great. So he doesn't want to cut. So he starts making up this bullshit because he obviously got on YouTube. I told him, get on YouTube. Look at some of the stuff. Look at the band that I was in. So he figured, oh, he's signed, he's got a record deal. No, I haven't gotten dick from that label. I'm suing the hell out of F&A Records. Just in case anybody from F&A, you're getting sued. I have a lawyer. I have not even, a, I don't even have a lawyer. I have a whole law firm that's coming after your ass. And if nothing else, I'm just going to get F&A taken down. I don't care if I get any money. I just want them done. Because they're ripping off a lot more people than just me. So... After all of that bitching, let's get to the song. This is Rock and Roll Legend. I'm just going to try to play through it uh, at this... Uh, now this is the metal drum. I like the Jim Dooley ones because they're more analog. This is a drum machine. And you can tell. <laughs> try this again. Take two. Son of a bitch. He does some goofus shit in there. It's, it's messing me up. Play a simple beat, dick. I should get a Jim Dooley track. It really is the best one. Oh, screw it. What is that? How many beats? Alright. Try again. Go. Go, dick. Go. Oh, this is thrilling, isn't it?
not the right drum track. Fuck it! Thank <laughs> you.